mention what Mr. K Dr. Kosa didn't actually explain when he talked about uh, Mr. Sipo Masego celebrating when I scored. It was when I was playing for Chiefs. <laughs> So that tells you the story. And you can see he's much younger. <laughs> Program Director, Mr. Masego, and your team from Boracom, Dr. Ivan Koza, and the entire Orlando Paris family present, management and family of Kaiser Chiefs Football Club, members of the media, Ladies and gentlemen, it really gives me great pleasure to be part of this auspicious e event uh, this morning. The occasion is typical of couples that celebrate their anniversary by renewing their marital vows. Perhaps one of the most fulfilling chapters in the life of mankind. The difference between this occasion and the exchanging of vows between two people is that there are three partners of Kaza Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, and Boracom, whose union has survived years of bliss and challenges. In the words of Rosabeth Moss Kenter, I quote, people who believe they will win are more likely to put in the effort to ensure victory. Their hollow effect makes it easier to attract the best talent and the investments to perpetuate victory, unquote. 13 years ago, in some manicured room, executive representatives of Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, Boracom, assembled brains, thought, and vision to weave and elaborate tapestry of business that remains part, by far the most endearing of corporate marriages in the history of South African football. Governing all permutations was a belief that the tripartite institution would win and therefore require the best effort to ensure victory, as stated by Roosevelt Moss Kenta above. I'm also certain that resting above the meeting chamber at that time was the presence of God, the Almighty, who had hovered over Israel as a protective heath, sheep and a master of pro uh, providence during their 40 years of sojourn in wilderness. You may recall that our own history with Rando Paris had survived 29 years of nerve-wracking drama, one that had essentially kept a benchmark of the challenges and successes of the discipline of soccer in our country. Like Israel, of course, therefore, our journey had been a true adventure of challenges and successes, but one that had birthed a need to share one room, to galvanize our business thought and implement a common vision that is celebrated this day. Of course, just like when the Ark of the Covenant of God had mediated between Israel's pilgrimage from Egypt and guided the discourse into the Promised Land, our mediator took the form of Oracle, a corporate friend that has been a muscular pillar of our 13 years of development and growth. Whilst the two institutions of Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Paris had obviously qualified as trendsetters in our soccer scene, the partnership with Oracom added another dynamic in both the business and social paradigm of our sport. It is for that reason that it is for that reason and God's favor that we are once more assembled to welcome and consolidate another episode of our sojourn through triumph and tribulation. May I therefore stand humble before God and in your presence to express my thankfulness to the friendship between Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, and Boracom. I believe we have worked extremely hard in pursuance of the will to win. Perhaps the one factor that motivated the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali to write, I quote, when you are inspired by some great purpose, some extraordinary project, 
All your thoughts break their bounds. Your mind transcends limitations. Your consciousness expands in every direction. And you find yourself in a new, great, and wonderful world." Unquote. There can thus never be any doubt that our deliberations carry some purpose whose fruit we continue to harvest beyond modern day football matches today. Counting the 13 years in reverse, one may recall that the period 1999 was the year of our infant second democratic election that had ushered a new social, economic, and political break playground in all spheres of South Africa. On the business side, we were still learning the new ropes, given the context of a changing economy at the time. On the social side, communities were redefining themselves as liberated entities after many years of the strife and toil. Putting these two factors in juxtaposition, one immediately noticed that we were pressed in the business of football to reconsider our relationships beyond the allot allotted 90 minutes of enthralling fri friends, friends and supporters on the pitch. We were rather pressed to regain our jealously guarded individual brand pride, to fit in, in the changing business and football landscape by thinking a strategic business relationship with a willing suitor like Vodacom. It is therefore that out, out of that meeting in 1999 came a compelling and innovative business matrimonial union that has endured years of adventure, sired offsprings that benefited the alliance. Whilst we were questioned on the serenity of our partnership, we were obviously inspired by the desire to remain, to re to re-image our brands by redefining our role as beyond the measure of football to embrace a holistic responsibility towards the social welfare of our constituent supporters. More so, we needed to break bounds and transcend limitations just to honor the sutra of Patanjali's <coughs> wise ways. The need for South Africa to perceive of both Orlando Pirates and Carter Chiefs as a strategic business partner, thereafter emerged to carve a new route in our business. Of course, this has not dampened the passion to outgun each other on the field, perhaps the single most ingredient that keeps our football fires burning throughout the season. Through the Vodacom Challenge, thus became a perfect vehicle that unified our supporters, as alluded by Dr. Koza earlier and caressed and pacified wearing factions, politically troubled torn communities. The province of KwaZulu Natal enjoyed peace when supporters buried their political aspirations to share and fill stadiums that hosted the event. The competition also invited African countries into our shores and later ambitiously and successfully attracted the most senior and elite of European football teams into, into our shores. Stadiums like the former Lucas Mamobe in Mafike saw the entire Northwest community reconcile after many years of apartheid life of separate development. The former isolated Eastern Cape hosted a tournament at the Eastern Cape Rugby Union Stadium that has now birthed the modern Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. Cape Town in the Western Cape and the Loftus Festival in, in Gauteng have since hosted the largest interracial audience that witnessed our clashes against the clubs like Man United, Man City, Tottenham Hotspur, Hotspurs in recent times. Throughout all the excitement, the Alliance has moved into communities with serious corporate social responsibility programs that have reached deserving young and old. Apart from the Vodacom Challenge, the Alliance has commercially benefited our supporters through the many on and off the field immediate and spontaneous sponsorship marketing opportunities. As we acknowledge the reinvigoration of our sponsorship this morning, we are once more humbled by another opportunity to share the dream and the vision. 
We do so against the background of understanding our fragile economic landscape that seems to frequently bend when international markets are, diverse, are adversely affected. We also do so against the background of understanding the challenges of job creation, the volatility of unstable communities and diverse socio-economic conditions that have potential to spiral into conflict at the flick of a finger. Throughout all these and many other challenges, we are thankful that Boracom can still invite our audience to con continuously carve a way forward that has indeed qualified our cause beyond football, entertainment and fun. We are thankful that it can dig deep in their reserve to find cause and reason that has sustained us as business partners, even during the tumultuous economic times of less profit and commercial non-performances. Whilst trophies and breakthroughs may often evade our wishes, we are however clear that Boracom is stuck to his commitment of supporting our cause. May I therefore thank the executive representatives that have once more embraced our brand by renewing the East Boracom corporate sponsorship uh, that will see us jointly enjoy the fruit of its labor and toil. Whilst the Boracom, whilst Boracom may have shared its corporate blue and white image in favor of the red and white brand, we understand, we are thankful that it did not for once think of relegating the gold, white and black images of both Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Paris brands into its attic and archives. We are however thankful that our matrimony is rising strong by the day and may therefore endure the duration of its obligation to reach out to many communities whilst entertaining soccer loving supporters throughout the country. Our joint pursuit of success is emphasized in a statement by John Hartsman that reads, I quote, there are no moral shortcuts in the game of business or life. There are basically three kinds of people, the unsuccessful, the temporarily successful, and those who become and remain successful. The difference is character, unquote. Looking into our history, it is quite easy to deduce that we have built our success through character more than any other ingredient. I therefore believe that it is the same character that will ensure that many years of our union as we attach our signatures on documents that bind us for more growth and blessings. May I take this opportunity and express my heartfelt thanks to Dr. Koza and the entire Orlando Paris family for the part they play in ensuring that the vision of the Boracom sponsorship becomes a reality. May I also pay tribute to the memories of the departed Zoto Koza, who together with Amy and Vivian Casaletti joined hands as a driving force through various stages of the journey, and our marketing team led by Jessica Mutawun. I also thank the Kaiser Chiefs executive team and our commercial team led by Sajid Sekren for dedicating time to secure a new deal. May I express a heartfelt thanks to Mr. Romeo Kumalo as well and uh, Enzo for astutely conducting proceedings and the entire Boracom team that also said during all these negotiations when they were taking place. I truly believe that ours has indeed been a journey laced with adventure and success. May our partnership remain strong and continue to challenge others, other institutions to reconsider their roles so that we could collectively as football show that our sport of millions is perhaps the best discipline in entertainment. In closing, I'd like to add my voice to what has already been mentioned by the Master of Ceremonies regarding this coming weekend. It's a very Interesting weekend. Uh, we are unfortunately are not part of it for this time <coughs> around, but it's a very interesting weekend because it has come down to the wire. So I would like to wish the teams involved the best of luck. Both the Soy to Giants, the what is gratifying about it is that 
the trophy, whatever happens, still comes back to Soweto. That Pretoria thing has gone down the drain. <laughs> And of course, I hope that uh, this weekend, obviously, uh, our, our relatives will obviously become very noisy neighbors this time. Thank you. <laughs>